What's up Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers and it looks like uh, emotes don't work. Uh, space Engineers. Anyways, so we got a lot to do on this episode. Uh, one of the things that I did learn about the mod that we're using, the Abandoned Settlements, is in order for other uh, settlements to spawn, we actually need to get our block count up. Which means I'm going to need a base and I'm going to need a bigger rover. Uh, the rover behind me I actually added to because I needed more storage. But yeah, we got a lot of work to do. Let's go ahead and get this started. I think I might have put the wheels too close. <laughs> because uh, they're freaking out just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the inventory real quick. So, uh, this is all the resources that I have. It, so, we have plenty of resources to go ahead and start building. But the question is, what the hell am I gonna build? So there was a facility right here, but I ground it down. Uh, basically, all I wanna do is, I need a platform to dock up the vehicle, uh, I need power, and I need a place to sleep somewhere where I could log out uh, that way I don't lose any progress because I don't have yeah we'll have to get a survival kit so I have a place to spawn right now I have no place to spawn so if I do die I lose all the work that I did which is only a couple hours a few hours something like that but yeah I don't want to lose any of that so let's go ahead and grab uh, some metal sheets just to get started out with. Is it steel sheets or metal? Hold on. Uh, that's a good question. It looks like steel plate. I was wrong on both counts. Alright, so we're... I have no idea what the hell I'm going to build. We'll start with some armor blocks, get ourselves a platform, and then try to get some connectors to dock up the vehicle. This seems like it's nice and flat. Uh, this is just a temporary base, it's not going to be a permanent one. But this seems like a decent location I could go ahead and start building an underground base. Try to try to figure out how to hide it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Alright, so how big do I really need this? You know what, I do have... I think I opened up pistons and rotors, so I should be able... Uh, to get a, a small grade connector on the station so that way we can match the height of the rover. Not exactly sure. We'll have to find out. Alright, I think this will be good enough for the rover. Now what I need is... I need a way of docking. Hmm. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna do that. English, motherfucker. And there we go. Alright, so I'm going to need a ramp so I can get the rover up. Uh, hmm. Trying to think of what I should build, really. Well, there is one design that I did have a long time ago. It was just a small little bunker. Uh, it was just enough to get some stuff up and running. But that was when we were mining. Uh, it does have a refinery. We don't have assemblers. We only have basic assemb assemblers right now. But I guess I could start that. Yeah, might as well. So yeah, we're gonna need a few wind turbines. We're gonna need uh, some batteries. That's the question. Am I gonna have enough power cells to build a battery? If not, I'm gonna have to go find another base to reclaim one. So let's see, power, power cell. Uh, there it is, 28. Uh, 33. It looks like there's 8, 2, 6. I need 80 altogether in order to build a uh, large grid battery. It looks like I'll barely have enough, but then I wouldn't have batteries for the rover. So yeah, I think batteries are going to be out for the time being. Alright, so we're going to need ourselves a rotor. I think it needs to be a little bit lower. It's been a long time since I've tried to build this. Huh. Let me get this figured out.
stop returning It's not the way for me Only a mile to go Somewhere I'll belong I'll see
Well, that was a long one. I'm still not done. I still have to finish some of the blocks, but they're only armor blocks. Uh, right, let me actually get up top. A few things that I do need to do. Uh, we don't have any merge blocks, which I kind of need for my design. Uh, the way that we do it with my design is there's a merge block, right? Is it right here? I think it's right here. We put a merge block right here sunken in, so I have to get rid of those blocks. And we could use that to actually detach the uh, cargo, whatever is on this thing at the time. So that way, the flatbed area, the cargo area, is interchangeable. Well, I don't have a merge block yet, so what I'm going to have to do is just make a flatbed for right now. Then I could go ahead and put down some magnetic pads, so I could go ahead and start... Uh, start loading this thing up and doing salvage the right way also what I need to do is I Gotta figure out a crane. I'm gonna put a crane in the back just like a regular Hemet But yeah, we'll see how that works uh, I do need to put a survival kit on here But I need to go ahead and get the armor done so I can figure out where that needs to go So yeah, there will be a survival kit and a connector right here And they need to be oh, yeah, that's right they have to be connected by conveyors, but I need to know where they are before I place the conveyors. Uh, and this thing has an engine. <laughs> really, I don't even want to know how many pistons that is. That is a lot of pistons. But that should provide power. Now, the whole, the whole reason behind the dragon wagon is it was a mobile, a mobile backup generator. So if a station or a vehicle ran out of power this could go and power it up so people can move again and hopefully long enough to get to a place where they could go ahead and charge or get some uh, uranium or whatever they want but I was kind of having trouble with the color just a little bit it still does not look right I was trying to get a tan color to kind of look like the sand but yeah I have a little bit more work to do on that also here underneath we have our O2 H2 generators on either side. I think there was six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then six on this side. So altogether twelve. And then those are hydrogen tanks. I can't remember where I got the blueprint for that. I had them somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember what I got to get them. But oh well. So I am starting to figure out that the mod for progression uh, does it just like vanilla. It just makes it uh, makes it a, a little bit more grindy, but not as grindy as the uh, as I was thinking. It makes it a little bit more than vanilla, but less than absolute grind. So not too bad. So what I still need to do on this thing, on my own, I'll go ahead and just freshen it up, get some of the uh, armor blocks where I need them. Also back here, I need to close this up. And then next episode, what we'll do is we'll try to put a crane on it, on the back. But I have to figure out how to do that. I want it to be a foldable crane, a hideaway crane, just like on a regular Hemet. But I don't know. I don't know if that'll be possible. I'll have to try. But yeah, now that we got the block count up, hopefully some of those larger stations will spawn in. And next episode, we can go ahead and go searching around for them. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.